here it is. I decided to take my chances in the bad part of town. I had my Springfield XD40 strapped to my hip and my head on a swivel. Then I saw him, trench coat guy. We made eye contact and he gave me a little grin, like he knew what I was there for. He opened up the left side of his coat to reveal some hanger boxes of Series 2 and I said, with a quiver in my voice, don't hold out on me, man, I want the good stuff. He squinted his eyes and smirked as he opened up the right side of his trench coat to reveal one box of 2019 Bowman Chrome. As I reached to grab it, he pulled back and said, not so fast, man. You got the money? I looked left and right, made sure there were no cops around, and handed him a crumpled up Benjamin and a Grant. He looked up at me and said, then the tip? I scrunched my brow and painfully reached in my wallet and handed him a 20. He hastily grabbed it out of my hand and started to walk away. Then he looked back and chuckled while he said, See you next week. <laughs> he knew I'd be back for gold label and heritage miners. Ladies and gentlemen, 2019 Bowman Chrome, a sneak peek, an early look, thanks to Trenchcoat Guy. Let's check it out, man. We got Tatis on the cover and Alonzo. It's about time we get someone other than Vladdy on every single box of baseball cards that's been released this year. What do we have here? We've got six packs per mini box, two mini box per master. You get five chrome cards per pack. It's a beauty. Two autographs per master. Let's dig in. Oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. Looking for that Tatis rookie card. As you all know, you can get some firsts and you can get good rookies, parallels, autographs, all kinds of good stuff. Let's check out the ads. That's the part I love. Here we go. You can pause that to give it a gander. So, is everybody excited about the release? Are you going to buy any? Comment below. Tell me who you're looking forward to. Hook a brother up with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Sorry, what are you doing? Hit the button. Go to strikerbreaks.com. Subscribe there too. You will be alerted to all the breaks. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh man. It seems like there's been a huge gap in between releases this year. And it's had me itching for some chrome. Oh, I see a nice purple. Who is it going to be? It's a first. Quentin Torres Costa. Anybody heard of him? He's a brewer. Love the parallels. That is a snazzy purple parallel. Numbered two. Not numbered. Not numbered? Okay. How is that not numbered? All right, well. I have to check that out and see what's going on. What's going on with the purple cards? One out of 43. One out of 43. Oh, look at who we have here. We got the Flatty rookie right off the bat. That's a boom. Sweet. Loving it. Right off the bat, take care of one of the issues. One of the expectations. And do it just like that. And a Turner. So, people often wonder, what's the difference between Bowman Chrome and Bowman and Bowman Draft? Well, all of these cards are Chrome cards in the Bowman Chrome. 
So if you get the regular Bowman release, you're gonna get some of the base paper cards. And those are, you know, not, not as valuable, not nearly as valuable, but they fill out the set. And it seems like Bowman, you get more firsts. And of course, Bowman draft, you get a ton of firsts. The more desirable firsts are, oh, bro. oh cool, Bryce Turing. Stat tracker, these are kind of cool cards. He's got a 396 on base. First look at the stat tracker inserts. What do you guys think of that? I love Chrome. I love the shiny stuff. I'm a sucker for it. What can I say? You know, I'm a new school collector, I guess. I don't have a lot of old cards, except from the 90s, if you consider those old. Brian Abreu first. I'm gonna put all the firsts in a pile. I like collecting those. Johan Duran. Ooh, the Arizona Fall League insert. Evan White. That's a snazzy one. I like it. It's got a little shine to it, a little rainbow shine. Let's check out the back of that. White is often cited as the finest defensive first baseman in the minors. Good to know. Evan White for Seattle. Put that in the insert pile. Castellanos playing for the Tigers. Oops. And John Carlo. Why don't you get healthy? You cost me my season in fantasy sports. Mr. Stanton, I hold you personally accountable for that. It wasn't my drafting. Nick Green, Bowman first for the Yankees. Jordan Yamamoto, another first. Oh yeah, we got an orange Carter key boom. Kaboom! That is a nice one. Loving that. Loving it. Okay. Gotta get that in the sleeve right away. Man, that's... Okay, I, I'm loving these cards already. I, I gotta get some more. Immediately. Right now. I'm gonna stop the video and go get some more. Actually, this was the only one that I could get. Trench coat guy only had one. He wouldn't allow me to have more than one. Even trench coat guy has his rules. And of course, cannot list these on eBay, which I wouldn't do anyway because I have a problem getting rid of cards. I have a problem letting go. Anybody else have that problem? I've got some listed. And the T-Bow. That's what people are looking for. Love them or hate them, that's a desirable card. We got the first Tebow card. This is a nice box already, and we haven't even gotten to the autograph. You might ask, Straker, how many of these little stands do you have back there? <laughs> More than you would like to believe. I've got a lot of them. I bought a lot of them. And if you're lucky, I'll send you one in the mail with your with your break. Go to strikerbreaks.com to get in on the breaks. Got some Bowman Chrome breaks coming up. Connor Scott stat tracker. And a Chance Adams rookie. And a Dakota Hudson rookie. So rookies go in one pile, firsts go in a pile, inserts go in a pile. And the good stuff goes on a little stand. That's how we do things here. Okay, so we've got to have an auto here. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Jesus, Sanchez. Jesus. Whatever. Mackenzie Gore. Here it is. Oh, look at guys. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a parallel auto. Oh, it's a blue one, my favorite. Blues are my favorite. It's a Yankee. It's a first. Garrett Whitlock, number to 150. On card auto. Sweet. Gotta love it. Garrett Whitlock. Let's look into this cat. Okay. First, I look I look at the age. Born in 96. 
So he's a little old for my liking, but number 10 Yankees prospect. Crafted a 113 ERA. Okay. Mid 90s velocity, deep into his starts. Stays off barrels. That's good. All right. Well, now we know a little bit more about Garrett Whitlock and his first. Let's sleeve him up. Maybe even put him in a little top loader. I think he deserves a top loader. A thick one, too. Because these chrome cards are a little bit thicker than normal, and they don't fit into a regular top loader as easily. So, make sure you got yourself some thick top loaders. You can cram them into a regular one, but, you know, it's, it's probably not the best. I don't, I'm running out of room to display already. Okay, we already saw that. Good to go. Two left in that last pack. And a judge. Okay. So let's start a new pile with players that I like that aren't firsts or rookies or inserts or anything else. Box number two. Look at that first box. Holy cow. I'll take that. Definitely take that any day. Now, I really want a Tatis, please, please, Mr. Tatis, show your face. Be okay with an Alonzo, too. I know there's a lot of Alonzo fans out there. with this so you can just enjoy every card and the Tebow first purple number to 250 bada boom bada bang bada boom that's crack everybody knows that's crack try not to spit on your card striker that's a rookie mistake a rookie mistake but that's all right got it off of there before there's any damage told myself before before the break hey open up your your new box of thick top loaders you only have one left i was like nah should have done it though there we go get into your home Running out of room. Already out. All right, regular Tebow first. Get out of here. Make room for the purple. I love these cards. I love them. I have to get more. So they have the HTA offering as well, as everybody knows. Maybe everybody doesn't know, but it it's a box of chrome but all it has is three autographs in it. No base cards, no nothing. Just three autographed cards. And it is pricey. There's a Joey Bart. And a Brady Singer stat tracker. Kristen Yelich, God rest his soul. And a Young. Lots of injuries towards the end of the season here, shutting people down. Got the Owen Miller first. Okay. It's a good one. My boy Jeffrey's telling me to keep an eye out for Owen Miller. Here we go. Here's something cool. Zach Birdie, Arizona Fall League. We got a Granky with his blonde locks. And that guy. Yeah, this format reminds me of Top's Finest. It's the same format with the two mini boxes, one auto per mini box. I kind of like it. Oh, nice. Leonardo Jimenez. I think that's one of the top young bucks to look out for. 
Let's let's see. Oh yes, he's a youngin. That's what we like to see. 18 years old. Number 24 Blue Jays prospect. Yep, well-rounded athlete, intuitive, attacks the ball. Love it. All right, Leonardo. Thanks for showing up. And the Suli, Elite Farm Hands. So I think you get one of these, one per box. That's the deal with the Elite Farm Hands. And this is a top young guy, Suli Matthias. Miggy. Two packs left. Is it going to be the last pack again? Is the auto going to be in the last pack again? If that's the case, and all the autographs are in the last pack, um, beware of buying loose packs of these on eBay or anywhere else for that matter. There's the Garrett Whitlock first. Nolan Jones and another stat tracker. Bryce Wilson rookie. I think I've been slacking on putting the rookies in a pile. Okay, last pack. Last pack. It's going to have an autograph. Is it going to be a parallel? Is it going to be a rookie auto? Come on. Show me a Tatis. Show me a Tatis. Give me the good stuff. That look bomb. And there's the auto. Braylon Marquez. Two pitcher autos, but it's a first. Cubs pitcher, that's good. Braylon Marquez. Can we finish the show on a high note with a Tatis rookie? Is that too much to ask for a glorious, glorious Tatis rookie? I don't think so. Danny Jansen with his cool shades and Colby Allard. Didn't get the Tatis. Love the cards nonetheless. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment below. Get in on the break, strikerbreaks.com. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys later.